Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Zazi Service of the Month. My name is Mugudzeim Lambo here to count down as usual the top 10 fire MC verses from the month of September. Man, it's been a long run. We're super excited and still as always, we appreciate the support in every every single one of you that you guys have shown us and uh, you know, we, we love it. We love it, man. Uh, so we are here is popular demand because you guys love to see your art being rated, so we're just gonna do that. I didn't choose this, I didn't choose this life, okay? So we're gonna count down the top 10 fire MC verses, and it has been a crazy month. Before we get started, as always, do remember to like, share, and subscribe. And this is not just something I say, I say it because it really does help the channel. Since you won't send us money, at least like the video, at least put a comment there, don't just watch, okay? And there are some who watch and never subscribed. So please, just do the things, okay? Cool, let's get started. Yo, this has been a very, very hard month. Probably the hardest that we had to do since like uh, February. And man, it's it's been crazy, man. It's been crazy because we got a bunch of submissions and some just didn't make the cut. Doesn't mean that you're bad. Do remember that. Does not mean that you are a bad artist. Just didn't make it. And it's a top 10 for all verses in Zimbabwe which is a great thing. We have 13 million, 16 million people in this country. So you know what I mean, right? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you understand. And you'll see some of, some of your favorites might not make it that high. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? All right, let's get started. Coming through at number 10 is Expose on Ngaiwo Neke. Do something. Yeah, I don't do something. Naga wanna know comes in. Yo, shout out to Expose, man, a dope rapper, dope lyricist out of Las Vegas in Mastringo out there doing the most. Uh, I must say, I think the first introduction I've ever heard of this guy's music was when he did the interlude on Jungle Loco's Matama Streets album, and it was crazy. This dude say something about uh, it's off the wall, gonna get vans, something like that, man. It was, it was dope. The whole interlude, just like crossing over into the second part of the album was dope but let's get into this verse man and like i said this guy is a dope lyricist uh this song was kind of like a struggle based song where you talk about uh struggles coming up where we're coming from where i am and where i'm going uh, type thing and that that's basically what it was um i'm not sure though if this was like his element if it was feeling like he was in this his element but there were some really cool cool uh bars that i liked uh, on this the flow was a little bit way too mechanical uh, for me and it wasn't as consistent it didn't finish strong as well there's a second stanza which he gets into the sec into his verse and i just didn't like that it kind of felt like because it's such a strong lyricist this felt like when a battle rapper is trying to make like a super conscious song sometimes it just doesn't come off naturally but it is a good song and i'll explain why uh as we continue this episode and there were some cool bars as i said i think my favorite one where he says uh level irim chari wanna really lit marijuana i must seek it even if you lit marijuana you know the wordplay there was pretty cool the delivery was really dope as well you know because you listen he, he managed to mix shona and venek but used like grammatical pronunciation that you use in Shona to balance off the English punchline. That's how dope it was. So I know there is a thought process here and I know that is dope. But like I said, there were some inconsistencies. There is a bar but masturbation there, which I just felt out of place. It felt uh, it felt like a bar that someone thought of, um, like chilling at the park. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the song. That bar was a wrong bar to put in the song and then he also says a fancy breakfast ndaka kuranchi shaya zero sere vita dio serial number i now nah, we're, we're not doing those bars i'm sorry we're, we're not doing that <laughs> but but this was a solid verse uh all together just to start us off and if you listen to it you think i'm crazy because it's a really good verse uh but yeah that's how tense that's how tense it was and that's exposed on number 10. Fancy breakfast, and I got food and cheese shy. Zero seven feet and the old city old now. Level eating, John, I really lit marijuana. I'm more sick even if you lit marijuana. And coming on to number nine, it is Fuse on Cherry Pie. I'ma give you the best of me. Just don't share your recipe with no one else except for me. Under toi, best of three, we gon' see who wins. Best believe you gon' Yeah man, Fuse is one of those guys that I feel like I wanna come up uh, ever since his uh, rebrand and uh, you know 
changing the whole image and stuff like deleting old catalog putting on new songs as well uh fuse is definitely one of those guys that you will listen to and you get this you kind of get this feels like wow this guy is zimbabwean he's amazing like go listen to the song called uh gone too soon and you know what i'm talking about uh he is an amazing uh musician with a great great musical sense right let's get into the song though uh this verse is particularly the second verse because that's where he really raps on uh cherry pie now this is a it's a love song it's a love song so i know there's no like lyrical deep lyrical depth <laughs> deep lyrical depth <laughs> you know what i mean right like it's not that deep um of a verse uh it's just well wrapped and it sounds really really good and that's that's what like there are no quotables at least for me anyways the quotables are mostly like in the hook you're my cherry pie don't you earn my recipe don't you share my recipe i think that's what he says i forgot i'll play it again well bongani will play it but you know what i mean but you know it was it was a good verse it was a good verse but that's it it was well rapped he knows how to rap he's really dope as well and i cannot fault him on that my one criticism though <laughs> my one criticism and i hate to say this but there's a strong scent of him sounding like someone else sub like another rapper and this just yeah fuse if you're watching this hit me up and i'll tell you like there's it's a strong scent and i just can't shake that off and that's was my biggest problem with this particular um verse but other than that it is really really dope and i do feel like if fuse was gonna drop like a cypher freestyle type thing like it's definitely would win like a verse of the month and if any of my critic gets you mad then <laughs> <laughs> drop it drop it drop it and see <laughs> believe you gonna see you am her double d's they got me on 10 i'm moving like we on cam well goddamn shawty i ain't never felt this way about anybody everybody want to taste your dough giving out slices and no prices never and coming through at number eight Ooh, guys yeah six the law on zai let's have to throw rocks in a glass house because fuck a glass ceiling on the apples i tell them my price and the energy is awkward that's a red flag i'm not a matter door so i can't deal with that hey man like i told you it's a hard month okay it's hard hard a hard month and i have tears in my eyes because this is mr top five himself okay mr zai said top five feeling like a second home okay like this dude is dope but he's a number eight but it's still dope because it's number eight best verse in the whole country damn it okay let's talk about this verse though dope track dope 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 track the hook is crazy it is well mustered and mixed i think six the low is the one who mixed this because it sounds super professional i love as it should actually the production is dope as well uh and i always love six the laws rollouts because they they are very professional and i've always said like this guy has been consistent since the beginning of the year he's got an album he's got an ep out come on man what can you want but about this verse i don't know what was happening here um there was a little bit of uh, experimentation but this beat didn't i felt like it didn't require the typical six the low nonchalant type flow low key on the you know like he did switch up his flow like a little bit but it felt bouncy and a bit inconsistent but it was it was dope it was well delivered and in any other month man in any other month i really feel like this would definitely definitely uh killed it um there were also some quite obvious bars there and from someone that i held as a top lyricist in the country i just expected so 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 much more uh here but it was, it was dope it, it was it was a good verse uh, could have been more could have taken a different approach i just don't know if this one worked because the bass on this like with the drill elements in there i just i just loved everything about this tune man as a collective um the verse for me ranks here where it is on this top 10 but still top top great work i think six has given us like six verses so far um of the year that's you know throughout the year that's how great and consistent he's been 
six the law uh coming through there on amzaya on number eight me going for my goals immaculate header twitter rob van percy they want to see the music take the dive so good i'm way too cursed swim with the sharks and i still get a medal my heart moving on to our number seven is my man psycho on what's it about Legit, I, I genuinely thought that when this track came out, I was like, I was so excited. I was like, yo, man, this would genuinely be this of the month. I was like, yo, yo, this is this is crazy. And you know, I just love the irony of, of how he brands himself. Dude says, I can't rap. I think that's his like Twitter name. And then he goes and he drops this like dope, dope, dope uh verse, man. And and it's dope. Like I think. Uh, the beat definitely helps it plays a part but it also helps when you can rap well and it doesn't feel like the beat is the one that's carrying you and that's what i felt here like he really wrote the beat well uh there was consistent delivery and it was very straightforward as well there were not many quotables here uh, a couple of uh, sports bars as well so gotta hit that there but you know it was it was all right it, it was it was good it was consistent it was hard you know and really wrote the beat well i like psycho man and you know psycho pro g mj Omoto, all those guys really putting out dope work shout out to you guys psycho strong 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 delivery on this one man appreciate it and uh keep shining keep shining we definitely definitely want to see more uh, of you on this list that's psycho coming through at number seven with what it's about Next, Moving on to our number six, straight out of hip hop capital, Indigo Saint on 93 till infinity. Boy, hella hard to drive like two terror. New era, spin them round like propeller. New fella, got them covered like umbrella. If the catalog was bottles of wine, I need two sellers. Right. When I first, I guess it's true when they say that familiarity breeds contempt, and you know, maybe the fact that I think I heard I heard this this track before it dropped, uh, so like I overplayed it, I overplayed it so 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 much, and I was super excited, man. Fire emojis everywhere, super super excited, and it's still really dope. This was so good that it actually got uh, sway uh, sway you know sway colorways attention all from america the guy with the beanie for for those that uh, do not know which is which is great you know and it definitely was great four minutes of 49 seconds of pure lyrical delivery and that's what it was um just like going throughout i'm gonna give my pros and cons of what i thought um about this um but yeah let's let's get straight to it so Definitely has some great lines. I think it starts really well. Um, boy got a hard drive, like two Terra, you know, going through all of that. And then he gets into this Quentin Tarantino scheme uh, with the Kill Bill references. And it, it was dope. And I also think uh, kind of like someone who's never gone to university before. If you go to university from your high school, I always tell you this, like it's hard to fail. It's hard to fail in uni. You fail because you want to. Just like you can't, you can't fail while using uh you know souls of mischief beat uh with 93 to infinity like that's that's impossible that's it's such a great great instrumental man it's impossible uh to fail here but my biggest my biggest con because i know he's a great lyricist my biggest con is that one it was too long um so you're like ah okay and and there are not many switch ups so like it continues throughout which is great it kind of gives you the impression like oh there is great breath control but it's also about how how clever he structures his bars so that he can he can rap continuously for around five minutes without stopping which is which is which is an elite skill i can't even do that so who am i sitting here i mean this this freestyle had sway retweeting it man so who am i to speak anyways you know what i mean but still i i just gotta speak my mind um on this so it felt like there was like a double-edged sword here um where it was consistent throughout but too consistent and didn't change and there were parts where which felt like they were kind of off the dome even if they were written you know what i mean like it was like oh okay okay like I, I expected some some change i expected some change and 
the aggression was a little bit forced um, for me. And that's where I would say my cons there. But other than that, dope, dope freestyle, hip hop capital to the world. I think there's an EP coming out as well uh, from Indigo The Saint. It just drops albums like, I don't know, fashion brands. Either way, I, I'm super excited for the future. And this was a really, really dope uh, freestyle from Indigo Saint. Let's get it. Uh, you niggas wouldn't make it from the place that I'm from, but I see snakes in the grass, so I gotta keep it cut. Yeah, like Tarantino when I film, I might have to kill bills, put your nigga half these cut. Yeah, in my fields, why? Welcome to another episode of Nobody Raps Like That where we ponder the question if that bar was hot or it was not. My name is Phil McHaterson and I am a certified hater of a Zimbabwean hip hop. And in today's show, we ponder the question upon the very lyrical, super talented, versatile Tafadzwa Tarakwana, aka ASAP, on his 2018 hit Mambo, where this young gentleman says, Can we elevate the city with rap? Man, I swear. Where the victory tastes better than a chicken shawarma in all black i'm saving wakanda ladies and gentlemen i am sad to inform you but that is not a bar and nobody raps like that because victory is sweet shawarma is it sweet is it sweet chili maybe i do not know but sir that was a bad simile and i will not let that pass according to the zim hip hop rap constitution section 84 no man shall make whack similes in any rap format or not and thank you once more for coming to the show on Nobody Raps Like That. Is that bar hot or not? Well, you let us know in the comments. My name is Ben Phil McHaterson, and I am a certified hater. And on to the show. Moving on to our top five, it is Gold Furnace on Never Gonna Die. Ever wonder why I am? Then you wonder what I'm under on the gram. Those are pictures, got nothing on the man. I'm smuggling my jams past your eardrums. The border don't hear none. Dope, dope return. Okay, I say return because I might not be in the loop, so I don't know if this is like the first official release I've heard from. I haven't heard from this guy since 2016 or maybe 2015 when he was featured on uh, Takumani's album uh, Chipa Jij. I think the song is with Zera Effort, if I'm not mistaken, should be, should be, I think that's the one. And he killed it there as he killed it here as well. And I, I, I loved this man, I loved, like the way this starts with the boom bappy instrument, oh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I liked it, I liked it. And it was very, very lyrical as well. This dude has got a really cool flow, he's got a really good voice and he's very consistent especially throughout this whole verse doesn't give too much doesn't give too little in and out boom bap see you later that's how great i felt this verse was and my biggest corns i guess will be some enunciation of words because i there's some words i'm like what are you saying dog you know what i mean like there was some things that i had to play back i don't want to have to play back a track four times to hear what you're saying and it's not about a bar that went over my head i'd rather play it back for some clever thing that you said and i can't pick it up rather than playing back to say what did he say like there's a there's a part where he actually says um hot put hot potato where he wants to say hot potato like come on man i know sometimes we bend words to make them right but the hot potato hot potato i i know i will not have it i will not have it and yeah man like Bruh, nah, only Eminem is allowed to do this. He is the one who rhymes like oranges with syringes and mortgages. <laughs> you know, because, but no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not having hot potato. Nah, 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 I'm, I'm not having it. Um, but there were some really cool bars, like somewhere uh, around the end of the verse where he says, uh, uh, this is dog at B, like his name, Bruno. <laughs> I just found that hilarious because in the Zimbabwean and African context, that's a really cold bar and I, I like that. But dope, dope verse from Gold Furnace, man. Fire all the way uh, throughout and coming through at our number five with a Never Gonna Die. Coming with a hand for me, my punny can be handled like a hot potato. <laughs> this ain't some other type of rap duo. It's an archetype of fact duo. We never lack true work. Moving on to our number four, it is Steve. Oh, Ningai, Nick. And 
ni kwatiani nani banu na matasatani wachitinya mapatani banu tamba ninguchani pandu bata mic maripa kunyarani strong aggressive verse from uh, Steve here man and if you've never been introduced to his raps and his music uh, go check out his LP I think it's called A Letter to Samantha it is amazing and if you want to maybe pick one track there's so many tracks but if maybe you want to pick one track to explain his rapping power prowess just check out uh 25 to life interlude it's it's amazing and this 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 verse it didn't have like great how can i put this like there were no strong punchlines exactly but it was such a cool vernacular lyrical exhibition where there were so many great technical devices that he, were, he was using on this verse because if you listen to it and maybe say you're not a shorter speaker uh you might think oh okay it's just some assonance throughout bouncing off words and stuff but like the way he manages to to bend some words but he doesn't make them sound like potato for potato but throughout like it's it's so great man like it's really 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 dope great and i think he's one of my favorite vernacular rappers out there with a very unique rapping voice and i i just like that maybe maybe it might be similar to someone else i don't know but i i feel like it is a very very unique uh rapping voice too and this verse is also very hard to rap along to you know which is not a bad thing in this case because his words were very clear and you can try like read through like the lyric video and you can't even uh, pick up like he really really went in you know like, like there's this whole scheme um where he's like really tapping into his like his assonance vibes and he goes whatever then you know what come on man even goes in the eight things like that man like just going through i can't even say i can't even do it can't even do it and it's skill it is skill that's why i so i don't rap and i talk about other people rapping <laughs> but i was really dope uh from steve i guess i just didn't like the the part where he just like name drops holy ten ginde t guns and stuff i i guess you know i i don't know man i i just feel you're too talented to to name drop names i don't know what that was for we can do without that you know everything else on this track was great and we could have done it without that other the the name dropping and and dc's and whatever or subliminals i don't know man but dope verse from steve uh coming through at our number four <laughs> Moving on to number three, it is Mitch Uta on No Lie. I seen him, so I came across you wouldn't even. They be switching on me like I need him. How you trying to double cross the heathen? Damn. So I, I think it's definitely safe uh, to say that Mitch Uta has mastered the art of simplicity, which leads to like great sophistication. And sometimes that's really all we need. That's, I just like that. I just like that. I really like because I know that he is lyrical i know that he's very witty as well he's a creative genius as well and he delivers this verse flawlessly like i genuinely i don't think i have complaints here he writes the beat well he sounds natural his voice is amazing there's some really cool quotables as well and it's like papa in there out straight to the point it's again <laughs> in contrast to the previous verse this one is kind of easy to rap to and that's also a good thing you see you can you can make your verse hard to rap to and that could be great and you can make it easy to rap to and that could be great as well and this was great i did i genuinely did like it like there were some really cool lines how you how you trying to double cross a heathen and i think somewhere around the end where he goes uh touch what's mine then i'm then i'm using my hands and touch what's mine and you're losing your hand like that little guy wet play inverted you know thing like i find that uh cool because not everyone not everyone can be talking about a little miracle in a swimming pool like not everyone can should do that all the time sometimes we just want things like this you know because i already i know some people in america who get away with some simple lines <laughs> So get away with some simple lights. <laughs> Jesus turned 33. Sorry, Pimsy. Sorry, Nipsey. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep on hating on Jayco. Now nah, Jayco's great. Jayco's great. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's Mitch Uta coming through at number three with no lie. Do you the more niggas wanna know? The more that you shine, the more shade they wanna throw. Cause the more that you win, the more it was you put on hold. God damn. Less friends, more bands. If I ain't making money, then I'm making more plans to make more. Moving on to our number two. It is the return, the return. Is it a return? Cause he dropped a return, but then took a break and then came back with another return. It's M to the B to the P coming through with a never gonna die. Check it. Silly with the one hand cash like I planned. Then I dash to the touchdown boat like a flash. Double line times were like both men I passed. Old scores. Strong, strong, strong verse on this one, man. And I was listening to it, I was thinking, man, I really think this dude could rap about anything and it will sound cool. Like, like yeah man like i feel like these were the dudes that we hated from private schools you know what i mean like they'll just come on sports day looking fit playing rugby and they'll take your girl because they say yo man so what's happening you know I'm, i just want to chow your hand I, okay they don't speak like that but you know the guys who speak in inverted slang <laughs> but that's i think it was really cool i i i, I like this man like this dude sounds really dope um on almost any track uh really and and I'm actually surprised that, yeah, he's dope. He's dope, and that's all I can say, man. And the way he even starts this verse, uh, silly with the one hand cash like a plan, then a dash to the touchdown. Like the whole, like it, it's so cool. Then he gets into it like double entendre. He even tells you that it's a double entendre. So you like, you go back and you, you play it, and there's like a sports scheme there with an airport scheme there, which is ah uh, man it's it's elite i don't even listen just go listen to the track and it's on 25 views are you kidding me come on what do you people want guys come on man like go stream that track it is it's great and like i said i think the only con uh that i'll give this song is because i feel like it wasn't mixed well it just felt like it wasn't mastered well and that's literally the only con uh that i give here but i will say um mv pani is great when he it gets into this element where he starts a thought and he continues with a rhyming thought i'm not sure if that that makes sense but he makes the thought rhyme uh throughout and and you can pick it up man you can pick it up and even when he puts like an, a strong rhyming overload like the last six bars of the song were very like heavy on on the bars which was well on the rhyming rather not not the bars but it was, it was really strong there but it's the eloquence and the delivery there which and the enunciation which sounds really really cool like a eh, you know he he sounds like Argonosa, but other than that like it's 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 really dope you can really pick up um what he's saying you know like one of my favorite lines it goes you are not in an uber standing in zuko bust the mic bust the move if you're moving you know things like that like it puts up like wordplay double entendres like witty lines relatable bars things like that and uh, i love this one man mv pani to the world definitely one of the best rappers that we have in this country and that's our number two. Uh, that's what a thing fire that I wrote on Tom Hardy and Mad Max with my hands strapped. Still a thing fire what I wrote on. Hold on, you would not. Right before we get into our number one, like I told you, man, it was a hard, hard list, and uh, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> It's never really what it seems. Yeah. I swear these niggas selling dreams. dreams. The smoke and mirrors give a bloody picture, but I made a change up on the lens. Moving on to our number, are we moving on? Our number one verse of the month for September. It is a from the King Kong himself, Sokomatemai on Mzaya. When you come from where I come from, life ain't easy. No, no. I'm telling it real for like two years, that this is TV. Now that put up on TV, that's their work like Drizzy and Riri. I genuinely think, actually, first of all, this has been a long time coming because Soko, I think, debuted on our very first VOTM at uh, number two uh, on his verse on Sango, uh, which is really dope. And ever since then, we didn't really see him on this list, you know what I mean? And I, I felt like this was overdue. And this was an exhibition of what Soko can do because I can unequivocally say that Soko Matemai is definitely 
probably are uh, not definitely i said unequivocally so definitely the only rapper in this country i feel who can seamlessly seamlessly juggle between a vernacular and english while rapping and it feels like one thing throughout now to know how hard that is try doing it you can't even finish a sentence in shona alone it didn't walk to pint out like in english it's like ah no guys it's like you know what i mean like even yes you can't go a full sentence you know what i mean that's that's how hard this is so imagine doing that while rapping being lyrical and on a good instrumental making sense as well i think that is really really dope and he really showed levels uh, on this one like there was some great flow switch ups it was a verse that, that felt very unpredictable and you know there was like quotables for for days man like i said like he's effortless when it comes to like switching up languages like mid flow and he still continues sometimes he'll be rapping in shona and you think he's rapping in english sometimes he's rapping in english you feel like he's rapping in shona and i just find that great like find me someone else who can do this man find me someone else who can do this i i just i just love that i really definitely um love this man's skills and he really gets i don't know how to put this but he gets me excited about rap like probably only three rappers in this country give me that feeling like when someone is rapping and they like their notes are bouncing off like bars you know like i mean you know when the beat drop is dropping with a punchline or with like a switch up few people do that in that country and are probably given i don't know if i've given you guys my top five but you know few few people who can who can do that who make me who give me that exhilarating feeling of joy when they are rapping and I just love that because it shows me it reminds me why i love this craft why i love this culture and why i love rap man i love rap man you know what i mean I, it's 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 dope like there's a bar which Stokos says uh now just move like a true german like a true german because in the name biri <laughs> what are you kidding what dude we can ghost write this for for kendrick lamar because he's a is a Gemini. <laughs> but like I said, even this, the flow switch-ups are really, really dope. Like there's a there's a scheme where he goes uh double double revenue streams like and he continues with that whole bounce thing and then he switches it up at the end, which is really dope. There's even a part uh where he says, uh, look at my life. I even felt like he was saying, Look at my wife, because this guy would will, will, will remind you that he's married, which is which I find dope. Uh, congratulations, uh, by the way. Uh so Dope verse uh, from Sokomatimai, well deserved a number one on September. Double double revenue streams like double double in a couple, never gonna stop. And if you thinking that I will, then I'm gonna have to push your bubble. I had to come through, said it like a straight demonstrate. Look at my life, gotta elevate, celebrate every single move that I ever made. It's amazing what you can do with some motivation. Ah, you don't wanna test me when I'm in. Dope verse uh, from Sokomatimai, well deserved a number one on September. King Soko, uh, can't wait for the album. Uh, we've been waiting for the album, and I uh, hope you guys go support all of these guys that we featured uh, on this show. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I have been a Mokutse Mlabo, and you know the deal. This is Verse of the Month. Follow us on all of our socials, and we'll catch you again next time.